That's actually not a bad fast. card. Let's make some devils. Uh, only the first one gets right. Yep. Should I plus first? Nah. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today's deck is actually a viewer's suggestion. He asked, what about the Grixis Planeswalkers? And I said, huh, yeah, what about the Grixis Planeswalkers? So here we go, Grixis Planeswalkers, this is the deck for today. It's a heavy control style with multiple Planeswalkers, uh, with one Chandra, one Raska. Teferi is a huge powerhouse, so that's why you play two. This is your main Planeswalker for, you know, the end game. Uh, you can just play each one of them, and when you stack this value, man, no deck can compete. So you just need to get into this part of the game. And here we go, that's the, the early game part. Flame Blast Board, Marches, because Grixis generally doesn't really have a life gain. We have uh, Sorin and Shorded, so that's something. I specifically build the deck so it has life gain, because otherwise it gets hard against aggressive decks. And Kaito is your, you know, mid-game engine to try to get some card value. Jace is here, but actually he's here. Looks better, doesn't it? And yeah, we have only one. I don't think there's more slots, because Kaito is generally a little bit better, but in the long game you can mill your opponents sometimes. If not, you can just pressure them so they need to commit to the board a bit more maybe you can burn down the house and by the way burn down the house is a weird one here you don't have farewell that hits exactly everything ex except planeswalkers uh, burn down the house hits planeswalkers so it doesn't seem great at the first glance however there is a second mode and you know what the second mode is how we close like half of the games if not more you will sit in action today with chandra especially this is insane finish you basically pay 5 mana for 12 damage at some point because you got 6 devils and they explode while dying and they will die at some point uh, all of this with haste so you can really figure out the board this way very very easily so uh, this is the deck I really hope you will like it the draws were a bit weird today but we still managed to get some decent results in mythic we hit the numbered one pretty good stuff I hope you guys will enjoy so I think that's it for the deck guys uh, really don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed and you are watching uh, regularly please consider it it really helps the channel it makes it visible so if you think that it's a worthwhile content uh, this is definitely extremely helpful and it helps me you know as a creator as well so thank you guys especially if you are here daily and let's enjoy the games and by the way you will see interesting mono red game and an interesting mono blue game I know it's crazy uh, let's get into the action finally a decent hand so let's start with the coast. We curve out with cliffs into make disappear, and then we go another coast into kite and trying to solidify the advantage. Then drawing some cards, playing probably big score, and seeing from there what our opponent is playing. All right, I I put the whole strategy. Hopefully he will start to play. And as I say this, he starts mono blue. All right, that changes. It. I I hoped for a different matchup, but I guess it's okay. Honestly, it's probably more interesting than the the other one. Huh. Do I want to check him for two mana play? Kaito is extremely big card for this matchup. We have shorted. Oh, wow. I feel good about this one. If they have Fading Hope, so be it. They have Fading Hope. And let's see if they use it. They should. This is a good target. But it means that Shorted might actually stick. And it means one card less. So they will be down to five. If we can untap uh, with Make Disappear, it's actually pretty good. We can also cycle all the bad cards for the matchup, like Lance and... And Lance. <laughs> we also need some Lance, by the way. All right. Uh, they did not counter a non-creature. They might have essence scatters for the shorted. So this is guaranteed. This might get countered and we'll cry. And we will. Let's, let's cry a little bit. <laughs> yep, that was really painful. I do not think you should go for it yourself. All right, so let's see. And land. Unfortunately, they fix it. 
I will play this. So uh, we have a decent situation on board. Not the best, but on the next turn we can make a token and force something. Be Big score is super risky, but if we can get, make it work, it should be okay. Uh, I expect first a dance step. Then we big score into make disappear probably. Uh, the question is on what? Is it sure that? I definitely will counter it. Uh, I think they play Jin, they have one like three ma oh boy, this is such a bad draw. Uh, let's counter it. This way we keep them low on the cards, which is our advantage. One fading hope is gone. Generally, they should have like 10 cards before they draw another. Alright. <laughs> In this situation, you know what? Oh, that's a hard one. Let's make a ninja. Just because I can play a land into cycling, potentially. <laughs> I've got all kinds of connections. Or do I just cycle and wait until they tap out? Oh boy. A bit rough, a bit rough. Kaito, you need to do a lot of... That's the second one. Let's cycle in response. Maybe we get something that changes our mind. Maybe we should even do it main phase. Alright, do I care? Nope. Enjoy your scry. Uh, even if they bounce it, like theoretically in three turns you can have another, we probably won't. But the point is that you can see their cards in the hand are actually getting lower, especially if they want to play around into spell. This is two cards from hand a turn. First, let's draw. We know that we will. See? Makes a small difference, maybe. Yeah, now I have good land base. So they had more troubles by non creature spells. So let's see if it's still the case. That's a hard negate. Do we try to protect it? Do we try to protect it? Or we just try to go for sure that? Alright, you got it. Uh, with Kaita, our draw should be a little bit better. So I'm not tapping out in case they play Jin. Uh, they will have one mana, which is not enough for most counter spells. Alright, now they can. We have mana advantage, we need to use it. I guess we will have another token. And even though they didn't do anything, look, those fighting hopes would be in hand. So that's a big difference. Alright, if I play shorted, things will happen, right? How much mana do I need? Three, four... I probably need this one too. Let's try. Let's, let's keep them busy. If they want to draw cards... It will be hard for them. Oh, I hate it. Alright, bro. That is my big play. I need it through. Thank you. No way he has more fading hopes. Man, really? Three of them in top 15 cards? Are you serious? Obviously he has it. Oh, oh okay. Why though? <laughs> Oh, all right, that explains. Oh my god, that was a die. Uh, let's say nice because that was a nice play, and I actually did never see this one through. So they faced out, of course, so they don't get like six damage, uh, 12 damage. Two lands, you know, five cards is acceptable. I can see it being okay. We need to deal a lot of damage, man. Very quickly. Aha! Gotcha. Maybe you will play Fading Hope, won't you? So we are keeping the cards for sure. The point is this deck cannot kill creatures. They have only two Fading Hopes in the whole deck. Not sure how many marches, in all honesty. And if they want to dig for it, they will take the pain, as you can already see. This is one of the weaknesses of the deck and you need to exploit it if you want to, you know, have good results in this matchup. You need to know what there what it hurts. That's why you like the mirror, because you have black color and suddenly removing a creature is not a problem. And uh, that's why this this color combination is so good usually. Alright. 
Oh boy, the other way to, you know, kill Shorded is kill the owner, which sometimes seems to be uh, easier. However, if they attack, we can always block. I think we take the damage. Unless they target Kaito, then probably we won't. I really want this card, to si card cycled. Yep, good choice, my friend. Well played. However, three cards to go. Uh, apparently, they don't have a dancer for sure, but, and that's a big score. That is a pretty good draw. And thankfully, we left the card from before because otherwise we would not be able to do anything about it. He can force us to pay two mana, but. That's it, probably. Oh, they can phase out. I think they have another, right? And they think uh, if they want to negate us uh, the life game. And they should, because it also means they attack for 15, and that can be enough to close the game. Definitely do it. Oh, they have it. I hate it. Ha! <laughs> Fortunately, they never knew that our draw is crappy. As hell. Okay, this is something. How much mana do we have? 5, 8. Which means that we can pay 6 and pay the ward. So it means we need to kill something right now or we won't win this probably. Alright. And fortunately it means Kaito will die. Man, those treasures. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. It also means we are nearly at 30. And our short that would be really scary. So they played for like two turn Leafa and I'm not sure if they can do it. They need to draw as much as possible so they can get the fading hope. I mean this can go either way, it all depends on their draws. If we draw a counter spell, like a hard one, that would really help because then they need, you know, a fading hope into counter spell. But honestly, for their deck it shouldn't be a huge problem, right? Like not the biggest problem out there. All right, man. Imagine if they didn't phase out short; they would be at minus twenty-five right now, or six. It's usually like the even number. <laughs> oh boy, one mana to go, ten damage on the board, uh, five to our face probably, and because Kaido is extremely deadly, especially with shorted. Uh, however, it also will mean that we can hit them super hard. And if they want to defend, they need double terrors, which would mean they don't make any progress in the game. So I think they need... Uh, it's, it's a hard spot. It all depends on those three cards, man. I don't think they run too many of the sleep out the back. I'm not sure about the... Wow, those are some high quality draws, man. I'm... No way. He has it already? After so so much digging, Fading Hope is a possibility. Uh, so he should take the hit, probably. Oh. Oh, I see. That was the... I thought they have Fading Hope. Uh, we definitely keep the card. We absolutely do not need more mana. Man, the draws are not good for us. One, this, we still have Dissipate. Right, this is also pretty good for them. It doesn't draw a card, it just puts it on the hand, which is absolutely different from drawing. At least when it comes to shorter triggers, because <laughs> otherwise it's pretty much the same. Alright. Let's see. We can resummon it, but they will scat. Oh my god, the dick is insane. Um, man, I wish my cards would dick as well. Uh, though my cards provide mana since like five turns, so that's great. Hopefully he gets as fluid as I did. All right. I wonder, man, game gets pretty interesting. Th this is a unique day. We had interesting match against Mono Red, and we also had interesting match against Mono Blue. That's crazy, man. Though the meta didn't change too much lately, <laughs> did it? Mono Blue is here since like September last year at least, right? Maybe, maybe longer, maybe shorter, but yeah, I remember playing it back then even. Oh, that's a draw. I want to have all the extra mana. I should probably count it, but I'm not. I could also try to 
you know, hit his uh, creature because they don't have damage in the deck, so it kind of goes around. But I want to force something, and I have five mana and the gate. All right. Uh, we have to cast it before, of course. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't work super good. All right, two cards, seven life, and the shore that on the board that was buffed by our mono blue player. Even if they fade in hope, they need a counter spell as well. Oh my god, another impulse! Chill, bro! <laughs> Man, we have playing suckers in the deck, but uh, we can also draw lands, I guess. You know, a single Teferi would really accelerate our gameplay. A single Raska would make it so much easier and it would buff Shorded while drawing cards. And also negate an Jin or the Serpent. But, you know. We don't complain, we never do. So we'll just see what the what the cards are. He needs two cards in total because Fading Hope alone is not enough. And he needs to hit it really quickly. Ottawa. Alright. Two mana. More lands from the top. I absolutely and they have essence scatter. Imagine drawing so much better. Wow, those are great cards from the top. I really feel that we would absolutely win this game if any of our five draws was not a land. Uh, burn down the house really hard, but one card in four turns is not enough to pressure deck that only draws cards. More lands. Fortunately, some of my lands are cycled, so I can draw even more lands. Oh my god. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's so fine. Do, do we have any other cards in the deck except lands? I'm not sure. At, at this point I consider maybe I'm playing a 50 lander. A 51 lander. I mean, uh, yeah, probably get bad gameplay on my part in the end. I should definitely not draw those lands. Alright, probably too late. Four cards in the hand, so let's play land just to have more mana, but I think it's it's way too late. We missed our spot in those like six turns. And what can we do? Not even sure how we play Chandra. We probably plus one so we can hit like removal. We just need some you know simple spells to win this. We have all right. You know what? Let's try. We might mill ourselves, but a What's up with the shuffler? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we will actually make some interesting plays though. Or will we? Yeah, I can only use one of the cards. So if anything, we do it now, right? And by now, I mean now. He can only counter one of them. I was close to burning them, but I needed some more power during the game. Man, it's it's really unfortunate. I think we deserve to win this game, but you cannot win if you're, you know, five draws in a row is a land. You just fall behind against every deck. I will pay all the money I wish, my friend. Enjoy. We have, what, three? So another make, make disappear can be taken. At least some benefit from, you know, having insane amount of lands. Do we have an, another shorted? Yeah, we also have... No, no, no. Alright, that was the second. Alright, but we have all the planeswalkers. But right now they might not matter super much. I resolve you. I target you. So if they want to phase it out, it will mean it cannot attack on this turn and we get another trigger. Oh boy. Those triggers. No way. I don't believe it will go through. I I have zero idea what they have in the hand at this point. <laughs> I'm not even trying to guess. Alright, I did not expect Jin to die. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright. Interesting. Can I have, please, a good draw right now? This turn, please, something that is not a land. I will, I will, I will say that Shuffler is random even. All right? Shuffler is random. Here, confirmed. 
All right, so how do we do it? First, we make this. Because if any of those devils hits, and they have pretty high chance of hitting, we just kill them. Man, are we winning this in the end after drawing five lands in a row or something? You, you can write in the comments if it was four lands and burn down the hands, it's fine. Uh, I'm not sure, but they need a double hard counter spell for this one. And it also means that we burn the Jin and their face, so they are still not in the game. I think we should win. I'm not sure about the combination. Uh, one thing, they might have cardo, like flow of knowledge or whatever it's called. What what are you I need to learn it finally. Flow of knowledge. This is four mana. They have two more. So effectively, it could be... Oh boy. <laughs> Bro. Is that making a difference? I mean, I'm going, I'm going to pay everything. Enjoy. Like, I have so much mana, bro. I can pay even twice this amount. Oh my god, we actually won this. See? Told you. Shuffler is random, fully. And let's ping him. Just for the message. <laughs> I cannot believe we won this game, but I guess never give up. Man, that, that, that was a fun game of magic. Alright, guys. Going first. Fires of Victory Spite. I like this hand. I quite like this hand. We won't make a turn to play. But it's fine. We're on the play, so we have some leniency, and it means that we have more time for later. So this will be the worst turn ever, but after this turn, so whatever happens will hurt, but after this one, uh, we should be fine. And this is, of course, not so impactful play that we cannot go around it. All right. I mean, I'm happy with the situation. Let's see what the follow-up is. I'm actually thankful for Mono Black Man. They are doing the job. They are fighting Mono Red infestation. So we can enjoy magic. So you are true heroes. Uh, yeah, we take the damage. It's just... Man, with Invoke Gone, you can take so much more damage. And thanks to this. Uh, so it will be made disappear. Man, this is really good answer to what they played. Uh, one consideration is if I expected... We have double blue. Let's play like this. I want to get rid of the land. Uh, so we need to keep board clear and get some planeswalkers, I guess. Right, Gandalf? Of course you are. Alright. Lidiana. Very annoying. Will hurt both of us. We cannot re answer on this turn, though. Alright. You got another. I think, like, if we had a bit more mana, I could consider it. But we are on the play, so we are a bit shorter on the cards, and Fires of Victory depends on the cards quite heavily, so no. And not generally how I would play it out, but in this situation I feel it was a bit better. Alright, let's see. Hitting our face with no mercy. Ha. Huh. Your last hit. You got it. Let's not forget that Underdog will come back later. Sleeper, sure. They uh, seem to be a bit playing around counter spells. Alright. Let's see another trigger. And that's the trigger we cared about. So now we draw those sweet cards. And hopefully hit some... Alright, I mean, that's pretty good spell. I mean, that's a pretty decent Planeswalker. And you cannot be invoked. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Like, mono black players, you are true MVPs of ladder. Uh, you, you don't have invoke and you are still trying. And mono red at least has a worthy opponent, so we can enjoy farming mono black. <laughs> oh, it's rough. Sorin, I like it, man. We are playing magic, planeswalkers, creatures, stuff, spells, strategy. It's. That's the stuff, that's the actual stuff. So, we take some damage, and this is one of the cool things. Suddenly, you see, my life total did not change, because suddenly uh, I'm not the biggest threat on the board. Oh, I would love to get rid of all of this. So we draw a card first, I believe. Chandra. That is an interesting fact. That is an interesting fact, my friend. So we could try to... Yeah. Yeah, we absolutely do. All right, so we plus the Chandra because this is a pretty decent card. 
and now we can volcanic spite first the sorry and i think second uh, the lifelinker because if we get rid of the tenacious Thunderdog, uh, it just comes back and see that's why i put volcanic spite it's just such a cool card to just cycle into the value so you can basically have three lands in a row instead of one and that's perfect all right let's see this will be a huge turn for him he needs to do something extremely powerful right now and he has only four mana five potentially and you know you know what the card would normally be land into invoke and suddenly he's in the game but not anymore not anymore man i'm enjoying it way more than i should oh i'm so happy i'm playing magic all right and let the games begin Oh boy, uh, he, he won't be happy after this turn. So what do we do? Uh, the game should be won by this point, so let's not mess it up. We play the land, we actually want as many as possible. I could make a token to start up the pressure. Uh, I, but I think I like drawing cards even more than killing my opponent. That's actually not a bad card. Let's make some devils. Uh, only the first one gets right. Yep. Should I plus first? Nah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Just a little maybe. Come on, Chandra. Think on your feet. Until end of your neck. Man, that's pretty perfect. Not gonna lie, that's pretty perfect. And the uh, thing with double burn, man, I love the sweeper so much. So, uh, one creature will probably be removed. You know what? I think we go with three. Uh, because I think we can possibly get double removed at the end step. And we also want some casualty, we want some blockers, we want to make it super awkward. So at this point I don't think he can come back, especially not with the counter spell. We just need to be sh uh, careful about decking. Things without haste don't matter. Cool, enjoy my friend. If he wants to pay all the money, oh boy, oh boy, he won't like it. Oh boy, he won't like it. <laughs> Let's uh, play a march into, I don't know, maybe a march. Uh, we double life gain. Yep, you can click it, but it can only be a 2-2. And now they cannot have uh, mana to replay Underdog. And on the next turn, they will be so insanely behind uh, that they also cannot do it, really. I mean, do you see that uh, our sweeper is doing pretty good job here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 12 damage with haste, which means that we just killed him with Chandra <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> See, this is the perfect sweeper. It sweeps against aggro and it kills against any kind of slower deck. And I really feel we deserve this numbered mythic with this game. That was super fun, man. All right, let's see our hand on the draw, but good lands. I don't know, if, like he's really high in ranked, no sleeves and red avatar. It looks like mono red, but for some reason I feel it might not be. I think it might be something else, but let's see. I would guess it's not mono red. I think I, we played before sometime. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Never mind. Oh boy. Yeah, the rank is a dead giveaway what he plays. All right, cool. Uh, so the whole gameplay is just trading few cards, playing shorted and seeing one of us explode. So never seen before gameplay. Uh, that's really bad. I would prefer to be on the play and counter it. So we have to kill it. We have to give them the cards. It will suck because it's uh, damage triggered and not like death so exile effect doesn't matter at least they got two mountains so not a lot of value they are short on value because they mully danced to hit the most aggressive star they could ever hope for we have already enough lands to play short that we just need to survive and with kaito probably kaito could be for later but we probably won't have time right there just go okay that's actually a good gameplay uh, or they just lift. <laughs> <In all honesty. laughs> they probably just lift. Is it Kaito? Alright, this is the big decision for the game. 
if we play Kaito make a token, it means they might use the burn spell and they probably won't attack with Founder. If they attack with Founder, it's 3 damage only and nothing more. Then we can untap and play Shorted and draw in. Yeah. The uh, fact that this will be phased out is insanely important. Alright. Let's see. They have on the play after Morrigan, so they will have less fuel for the full game, but they should probably hit better opening overall because they have two choices. So their early game should be more devastating than usually, but their late game should be weaker than usually. Invasion of Tarkir, that was the removal, all right. And we can start to lifelink instantly. Uh, from 15, I think there is a chance it might be enough. Also, they need to dedic... Oh. Okay, I like it, man. Ervarion. Showing how, how can you even play, you know, uh, an aggro deck in an interesting way. He actually plays it very well. So what is the discard? Definitely the launch. We don't have ever time to do this thing. I guess the life gain would be some argument to keep it, but it was just easier to discard. We cannot be blocking. It's painful. It is painful. Unless they play Misha's found, uh, you know, activate Misha's founder, then they have only one mana. This is two damage, so play with fire. They could be playing Clant into Lightning Strike, though, so it could be a bait. Like, this is the guy that would definitely um, do this kind of bait to just get some advantage. Oh, smart, smart. That's a really good play by him. Really, really good. Because right now, uh, if we block Feldon, he will just burn our shorted, like 90%. We have Kaito, though. If we don't, there's a huge freaking dragon that will hit us for 6 damage a turn, and that's not good. Huh. Alright, let's make the game interesting. Uh, is that the right call? Probably not, in all honesty, but I want to see what happens, because this is actually an interesting game against Monoret. I've never had this particular situation so far, and I'm keen to think what will happen. Also, he cannot really block. He can, and there's nothing we can do. Oh, I want to attack. But I guess I can discard the card, it won't matter too much. Because then he activates the foundry, double blocks, or he just burns me. So we cannot attack, yeah? Not into open mana, especially. Bad draw. One of the worst. The problem is that we are not fine on the board. We are actually super not fine on the board. And if yeah, burn down the house is one of the rare situations when you don't really want to do it. Do I go with the white board? I need counter spells. It's it's a bad situation. And uh, normally it doesn't super matter. But he is he seems to be a very good player, so we need to be careful. He will know how to abuse the situation. Uh, maybe he won't realize that our full hand is counter spells. One pain land, alright. So we can only cast one of them. A bit unfortunate as well. Man, we need some planeswalkers in our planeswalker deck. That would really help. Oh boy, that's so much damage. Killing Kaito, there is nothing we can do about it. Lightning strike. So they definitely have a lightning strike in the end or something like this. They can play the mountain easily. And that will be what hits us because we can counter one of them. They are fully attacking though. Maybe we can try to raise them. But six, seven damage a turn, it's it's a bit too much. Let's try to use our counter spell. I think sure that we'll die and it will be messy, but then maybe we can burn down the house. Let's see. We need to get use of counter spells because we couldn't hit a removal. Lightning strike and what? Forge. Alright. Only one of them will work. <laughs> the lightning thing, not super surprised. That uh, that seems like a pretty good card in this situation. Let's make it a bit harder. Not very hard though. 
but they need specifically lightning strike in their hand let's see i think they should have it i think they are playing smart oh they don't all right that's something but Ferdon is all oh my god those draws are just freaking killing me oh my god this is the worst bro you thought you are the aggressor see ya <laughs> Uh, you need to kill me very quickly, my friend. Uh, I don't think they can fully, but they can get us really low. So let's see. Like if I get burned down the house from the top, I probably kill them faster than they can kill me. It's a, it's a plot twist. <laughs> I think we will be losing this game, but I think it was actually pretty fun. Ervarillion, uh, appreciate it. To make, like he, he's trying to make the deck interesting forge into phoenix I, i'm a bit surprised that this doesn't see any play uh, i i was really scared about this card when i saw it like man it's it's it, you just cannot remove it unless you have exile uh, it will just come back every every single turn with this kind of deck all right let's see what their game plan is they know the cards i don't i don't know what they have here and basically the whole game depends on those cards because on the board we are winning at least racing oh no sure that will die all right so they have lightning strike no all right triple trigger that explain yeah that makes sense that makes sense so that's why they were tanking so much because they weren't sure if it's worth to basically waste six damage into this and two cards uh, but it is worth it. And now they have one more turn to punish us. <laughs> now, <laughs> Teferi, come on. You would be better at every single turn except this one. Oh, rough. So, 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 so. Is there a way? We can attack for two. They will be at four to total after blocking with Foundry. It's not extremely good and they deal what six seven eight nine nine or eleven oh that's a lot <laughs> wait let's make oh the pain land is man my my mana base is not hitting equally all right so we definitely played a furry make a token I think we attack with two. Oh, you know, it was a, maybe not a bluff, but more of a, you know, just a showstopper for them. So they need to play differently and realize that they can also die. They didn't activate the founder, all right. Uh, I will lose one life, so it means that I have lower than than I expected. The shortage on blue mana, especially on the payland, is really hurting, man. Like we should have more blue mana for sure. So that was a bit cramping because we couldn't ever cast double counters. But let's see, how scared of the fairy are they? One card in the hand, it might be a burn. So I think they expected that without the fairy or another blocker, they will kill us. I think that was their plan. And right now, possibly we are messing it by one creature. That's how I see it. Let's see. Oh, Sokenza, Soken, okay, did not play around this one. And that's a legendary because Ferdon is uh, legendary, so it's three mana total. Okay, that was a cool play. And Guy is making Mono Red interesting in a way. Alright, now let's see the attack. So one of the creatures will die, but it means less damage on the face. I'm not sure if we can burst them. From Man, have you ever seen Control trying to burst your opponent? <laughs> this shorted hit was insane, but the fact that they got rid of shorted was really painful. And we didn't really hit any value cards, unfortunately. I accept a fairy, but it was like two turns later than we really wanted it. So we couldn't really get advantage. It's basically a 5 mana 2-2 two -two at this point. As you can see, they, they know the game will end before this will be relevant, so they don't need to even play around it. So, uh, it's what? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. So we die. Alright. Uh, that's the best we can do. Let's give them a good game. He was really playing it very, very well. 
and the build is a bit more interesting than the usual one. Hey, I wanted the trigger. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that that might be the only monored game you will ever see that was actually quite interesting. All right, opponent goes first. We drew all of the shards. Let's see. We definitely have a bit of a curve issue, which got fixed by pure skill of drawing the correct land. So we'll absolutely take it. And let's see. This will be hard. <laughs> all I'm gonna say. This will be hard. I mean, we need to make a check for a second creature. Hopefully they whiff for one turn so we can activate our make disappears. Otherwise, we probably need to go with shores at time. All right, removal. Nope. Uh, and nope. That's really bad, man. However, they probably want to cast something on the drake. Otherwise, it doesn't do much. So maybe we can at least use the counter spell. We do it first. Uh, man, I really need them to whiff on something because we did not hit a land and our four drops are super clunky. That's why we play, I believe, two of them in the whole deck. To not be in this situation too much. However, one of the bad things about their deck. Green? Bra? Oh, they want to draw. Okay, okay. They got me scared. So they want to draw before sure that is in the board because they know it will make a difference. I wonder, they probably might be playing Fading Hopes, but so far the priority doesn't seem like it. The point is, their whole deck is about drawing a lot of cards and protecting the creatures, not about killing ours. So that might be really something. We're also live again, which helps a little bit. Oh, they can un untap creatures. So they have um, possibly, I don't, I never remember the name, but they end up in plus one, plus one. Then we would lose Shorded. But I guess we could kill the creatures. The other one was Witch. Tyver stun, they can also play it. But then they can, okay, let's try, especially with second Shorded. I think we can go for it. Show me. Did I play a land? Unfortunately. Uh, pressuring their life total is insanely good. It's actually insanely good, man. Next turn we can degalvanic it. Oh boy, I think we'll wait until the end step. We will see. This, uh, man, this will be hard for both of us. I think we have first shot at winning this, but it all depends what he plays. All right, that's not the card he wants, that's for sure. He can draw a lot of cards. The problem is that he won't have time to use them. And that's super cool. Man, we actually heal more, th more than he deals. So do we go for Garvanic Iteration or just a big score? One mana. One mana. I think we should be hitting something interesting. And one of three cards should be a land, so we'll go like this. Maybe tap land, but you know. <laughs> That's why we played sure that as soon as possible and this is why the card is in the deck. It just shuts down some archetypes fully.